Found this 2006 Chevy Uplander on Craigslist. It's gold. Had low mileage. Good price. And I decided to convert it into a little house on wheels. Showing you the outside first. First things, one of the first things I did was figure out. I had to figure out how to get them some power going. So as you can see up top, we got solar panel. This is a Canadian solar 305 watt panel. It's really big. Definitely a two-person install. And um, in order to mount it to the, I wanted to mount it to the roof rack. I didn't want to drill into the roof if I didn't have to. So. My friend Scott helped me devise this idea. We took uh, aluminum tubing. I got square tubing. And I cut out with a jigsaw on one side, one corner, and bent it down with channel locks and drilled through it, drilled through the roof rack. And then um, using the existing holes in the solar panel so that I don't void the panel warranty by making different holes, additional holes. So I'm using the existing holes in the panel. Had to measure it, took a long time. But this thing is solid. It's not moving anywhere. And uh, these are high. These um, these panels apparently do better in low light because I think they cut the they cut the uh, photovoltaic cells in half to be better in low light. So if you're parked in the tree underneath a tree or something, <clears throat> you still get more light than the average panel. I zip tied the uh, the uh, cables solar so they don't fly around. I put in a vent line roof vent fan and I got three levels of sealant. I got the uh, die core, or I got the butyl tape underneath and then die core lap sealant and then on top of that is uh, Endurabond tape so that thing ain't going nowhere and it's not leaking at all. I've already tested it at the car wash and other ways. So now let's go inside. Automatic door. <clears throat> So, uh, one of the first things I did was I built a bed frame. And this measures 24 inches wide by 66 inches long. The person who's going to use it is 5 foot 4, so it's plenty of room for them. It's a 3 quarter inch, made out of 3 quarter inch, and then I used 2 by 4s for the legs. And uh, it's super sturdy, like, it's not going anywhere. So it's super strong and it's super light. I can lift it with two fingers. I used 6 inch um, high density foam, in hindsight I could use 3 inch because I, I now know that if you're under 250 pounds, uh, 3 inch will be fine. Uh, and then I put storage underneath, there's like six, 5 or 6 storage bins underneath so you can get the storage. Then, uh, so with the solar, I mean, you need to use it for something, right? So first things first, I built a cabinet. And I put resin on the top, and I took a, uh, we got a bowl here with the drain in it. So we have water for a long time. Consistent spray. It's not using power. It's actually using the, um, a portable shower pump. A portable shower, um, it's called the uh, Nemo portable shower. And you just prime it with this foot pedal, and it inflates. It can hold up to three gallons. And I found this uh, little mounting bracket somewhere. So that's that. This is a Walmart salad bowl, but I drilled a hole in it. I put a drain that drains out to a plastic bottle that can just be dumped out. Um, and then when you flip this down, you got a microwave. And it's a super low draw microwave. It's got, uh, it's like 700 watts, but I think it pulls closer to 1,000 when it starts up. And how do you power that? Well, we have, have, oops, um, so, uh, let's see here, so this strip runs on the inverter, so you can convert anything to one, to 110, and um, on the side of this cabinet, I mounted the uh, charge controller readout, so we know what's going on with the battery, it's such, and uh, that button is for the inverter. So, um, I push this button on. Now, anything that's plugged into this this white strip will power. And the only thing we got right now is a microwave. So, I just turn it on there. 
There it is, spinning away. I've cooked oatmeal in here before, four minutes, no problem. Um, so there's that. And then I have the, uh, I have a four port USB. This is, runs on the f uh, 12 amp, 12 volts. So that's always on. And then I just turn the inverter off when I'm not using the microwave. Um, so what I have plugged into this so far, I got this little light bulb. You can just hang it uh, on the roof and the ceiling or whatever. And it has a little switch here. Just push it and uh, there we go. It's on and it can dim and get dark. I put these um, ties across each side so you could hang clothes or lights or whatever you want. It has one seat so you can sit, a grown person can sit with their head not hitting anything. For refrigeration I have the Dometic CF18 12 volt refrigerator. This thing's amazing. It's It draws super low. It barely sips anything. And it can freeze if you wanted to. You can do freeze or refrigerate, not both, so I'm choosing refrigeration. And uh, it's really cold in here. It's, it's icing. And if you can see, look, we got frost, and it's on a low setting. So um, I'm about to, I'm gonna put some stuff in there. And it has the uh, control. It's only at like nine o'clock on the rheostat here, but it, it can go much colder. I did a, uh, for a temporary toilet, Home Depot five gallon bucket with two layers of foam. And uh, it's the bag method where you, you go in the bag and then chuck that out. So you don't need to keep that around. Got fans, got two fans. Uh, this one, we got this one. So they both run on uh, 12 volts. So they blow. Really good ventilation. Then, uh, in the roof, I have a roof vent fan, which is a vent line. I cut a hole in the roof and did that whole thing. And then, uh, turn that off. This is an exhaust fan, so it only sucks out. So uh, we'll have the front windows cracked and it'll just pull in air. And you have these fans. There's plenty of, plenty of uh, everything. There's some curtains. Just using um, more of these, these ratchet tie things from Home Depot. Across the top and I tucked it into the DVD player since that's archaic and no one's gonna use that. And uh, you know, it's good enough. And then I added the uh, sun visors so you can have the window cracked and no one will know. So if you're in a city or a suburb, you can have the window cracked and it looks like you're, it's sealed up. So that's, so that's the, um, that's the, you got sink, you got water, you got ventilation with those fans. You got some uh, hanging stuff, storage. You got a light, you got a microwave, you got a refrigerator, you got a toilet. And then open the back. Um, on the back of the bed, oh, I have these window blackouts that I made from Reflectix material and uh, Velcro. And so they'll stick into each window and it does black out, so that works well. And then the back of this mattress, I actually built a hinge. So when you need to get to stuff underneath, this, this just flips up. And you can get to your Tupperware bins and all the storage. Super strong, super light. And here's the power, uh, everything. So we got, uh, what I did was, I took a Coleman rolling cooler that has a telescoping handle, like a briefcase, like a luggage, piece of luggage. I drilled holes in it and uh, did everything that way because I needed to fit in a small space. So we have a, the Tracer um, 40 amp charge controller. Uh, we have a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter with a 4000 peak. That's for the, currently it goes, the extension cord goes to the microwave, but we'll over, put other stuff there too. I did all the wiring myself, learned how to cut cables and splice stuff. This is zero gauge wire, and this is six gauge wire. And I wired up a fuse block. And currently we got one for the roof fan. 
and one for the fridge and the USB ports and stuff. And then um, inside, I'm running, uh, the power is a Renogy 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I got a 200 amp fuse coming off and then into a 50 amp fuse. So it's nice and fused up. Uh, it's great, it doesn't heat up, it's, it's great. No liquid, no gel, no acid, it doesn't get hot. I use a hole saw and cut through here to route wires and stuff. And a hole saw and a cup holder as well. And um, I didn't want to drill holes into the solar panel, into the roof I mean. So I routed the cables into that rubber boot that comes in for the brake light. And then I used uh, silicone to seal it up. So they come from the roof into this rubber boot. And then they go into the headliner underneath. It's a backup camera. And then uh, they go out here and down and come out through the uh, paneling. So it's all out of the way. And I did a water test and nothing leaks. And uh, that's really it. I got uh, 305 watts of solar with a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. Battery, 2000 watt pure sign inverter, and a 40 amp charge controller, PP, uh, MPPT charge controller. And uh, yeah, so that's the bed, that's the power, two fans, roof fan, got the display and the inverter power, refrigerator, toilet, uh, microwave. Gonna put some storage down there for pantry and stuff. Yeah, light bulb. And um, gonna add a, f I think that's, that's most of it. Add another light maybe and a few things but uh, you can do this too so yeah there we go